So we are headed to Norman, Oklahoma. Headed to Oki Country. You want to tell them why we're headed to Norman, Take Oklahoma? Next slight right turn. We are going to Family Weekend. What's family weekend? Family weekend for Alejandro. What does that mean? It's family weekend, like the whole all the families go and get together and do stuff. But what's in Norman, Oklahoma? Alex going to school. Uh, yeah, what school? Oh, OU. Yeah, unfortunately, he's a Sooner. Hook 'em horns, we say down here in Texas. We wear that burnt orange. We bleed burnt orange. But I gotta wear my red since I'm going to OU and my son's going to uh, OU. Rival school? Yeah, Red River Rivalry is what you call that. But anyway, it's parents weekend up there, so we're headed up there. They're supposed to have like all kinds of activities and stuff for parents this weekend, so we're gonna go check it out and see what's what. I might hit up a frat party or two. I don't know yet, it just depends. You know, I gotta babysit my son, make sure he's okay at these frat parties, right? I gotta make sure he's safe, you know? You never know what goes down at these frat parties. You're too old for frat parties. I gotta chaperone my son at these frat parties. Yeah, I don't think he wants you to. I don't think he wants you to go with him anywhere. No, I'm pretty sure he wants me to go and make sure he's safe, you know? Cause I've been hearing some crazy stuff about these parties, you know, and you got all these fraternities with all these hazing and stuff, you know, so I got to protect my baby boy, make sure he's safe. How long is the drive? Three hours. Yeah, it's about a three hour drive to Oki country. There's no cops, I'm going to shoot for two and a half. You could probably do two and a half, you know, if you're doing like 90 miles an hour. But yeah, you got to watch out for the cops because they got a bunch of speed traps of 30, off of 35. Especially once you cross the Texas-Oklahoma border, there's usually Oklahoma cops up there that are, you know, trying to get you. Then laws be trying to get you riding dirty, so you got to be careful. What do we have for breakfast? Uh, cheese omelet. Yeah, she hooked it up with a uh, cheese omelet, even though we're not supposed to be eating dairy products because we're vegan. Or eggs. Or eggs because we're vegan. Apparently somebody's not following our vegan diet very much. And I haven't found a good substitute for eggs, so any vegans who have a good substitute for eggs, let us know. Yeah, if you're vegan out there and you got a good egg substitute, let us know because that's the one challenge we're ha having is, is finding good egg substitutes. And I was a little hungry this morning, so I went ahead and ate this non-vegan dish she served up. So, All right, I'll get you guys some footage when we're on the highway. Well, we're stuck in traffic on 35 North. You wishing you would have taken that detour? Yep. You should listen to your GPS when it says congestion ahead. Always listen to your GPS when it tells you to get off the road. Get off the road. That's why I was wanting you to detour because of congestion. And sure enough, we're sitting in bumper to bumper traffic here on 35 North. Looks like it's construction related but it ain't moving very fast so 
but it is right here by the windmills these awesome windmills over here so at least we get nice scenic views while we're sitting here stuck did we pass arbuckle already yeah a long time ago if you ain't never been to arbuckle wilderness in oklahoma stop by and check it out it's really cool it's like a wildlife refuge and you drive through there in your car and you, you buy food when you enter you pay to enter and you buy food and they give you like these big old bags or cups of food or whatever and you can feed the animals and when you're driving through you open your windows and they'll literally stick their head in your window and uh you can feed them you got giraffes and ostriches or whatever they are you got to watch out for the ostriches though because they will poke your eye out if you're not careful they got them big old beaks and stuff they stick their big old head in your car they stick their what? Big old head in their car. In your car. Yeah, they'll stick their head inside your car with their beaks and stuff. So you gotta watch out for the ostriches. Remember when we went and it was all in the car and Alex was like, ah. Yeah, we went when Alex was yeah, they small. Were little. He was little and he got all scared and stuff. And what scared me was the buffalo. They got like real buffalo there and those things are huge and we were in her crv at the time so anyway the buffalo were bigger than her crv i mean those things are huge and i thought they were gonna like i thought it was gonna be like jurassic park you know when a dinosaur rams up against the jeep and starts flipping it over i thought that was gonna happen to us weren't you worried about that yeah because those things were like remember they were like just coming straight at us yeah, they're like headed straight towards us. So, which well, pretty cool spot. So, if you ever get a chance, Arbuckle Wilderness in uh, in Oklahoma. Here, I'll put a link down below so you can check it out and stuff. So we got our parking pass for OU, so we are official. So we could park and not get ticketed or booted or towed. So we are legit. She's doing her face. So we just pulled up to Alex's dorm here and uh, we're gonna pick him up real quick before we head down to the uh, housing fair. And then they got a parents thing going on later on tonight, so we'll probably just go grab lunch with him or something. Think he'll be excited to see us? Probably not. Over there. Why don't you think he'll be excited to see us? Because he's a college kid and Trump guy, and you're like, hi. Yeah, he's too cool for us old folks, so. But whatever. We're, we are cool. We're cool. We're the cool ones. Housing fair. Oh yeah, we're headed to the housing fair so that way we can make sure he has housing next semester. The fall semester of 2019. I forgot my sunglasses again. I didn't forget mine. No, mine are in the car. She forgot her sunglasses. This is my life, Alex. What? Nowadays. Oh. What's your life? Are you walking around with that camera everywhere? Oh, that yeah, the camera is life. He expects me to watch it all the time. To watch what? Stupid camera. Watch my stupid
You're packing up. We just got here. Wait for us. Wait. Hold on. Hey, y'all. Y'all don't mind being on my vlog, do you? Hey. So we're at the Red Lobster here. You know, it's Friday and uh, Lent and all that stuff, can't eat meat, so we gotta get fish. So we are starving. About to get our grub on. Are y'all starving? Yeah? How much you gonna get? I forgot how annoying you are. I'm gonna edit out your voice. And I'm gonna superimpose it with, I love you, Dad. Well, if it's a reception, it might be in the ballroom. And then I wanna go to tri trivia night. Are you in trivia night with us? Saturday, what time? Not to, tonight. 8 to 9.30. Oh, why are you pointing at Saturday? Who does that? Who reads off of something pointing at something but reads it? Because I was it. holding it like this. Cause I had like moved it. What are they doing at trivia night? Trivia? Oh, what kind of trivia? I don't know. It's insane. Oh, that's one of my math classes. I want to go. Right? Your math class is at trivia night. Yeah, I know where that building is. So we're going to the reception, and then we're going to trivia night, and now we're going to the movies. What movie are they showing? Do you know? I don't know. Say. But we'd have to go to the midnight movie because if we're going to trivia, unless we leave trivia early, because trivia is from eight to nine thirty, and the movie six, nine, and midnight. And that's tonight or tomorrow night? Tonight. Tomorrow, are we going to go do yoga? Yeah, I was gonna ask you about that. I think we should go do that. Nine to ten. I mean, I still feel kind of sick, but I think. Alex, maybe, are you gonna do yoga with us? Nope. Maybe that'll help me sweat it out. You know. You I want to do the coffee and canvas for sure. That's from two to five. Coffee and canvas. I think it's like the wine painting kind of thing, except this is coffee. Can I get an espresso? Sure, you can. Oh, I didn't tell you, did I? And then there's a Mama Palusa concert, and that's it for Saturday. I didn't tell you, did I? No. So, Earl, the guy borrowed the lawnmower from, he has an espresso machine, and he offered me an espresso, and he made it, and it was like the bomb diggity. I don't even understand. It's like jet fuel, it's so good. Hey, Tiffany, you want to be on my vlog? Hi. How you doing? I'm good, how are y'all? Are you working hard? Oh, yeah. We're not Always. making you work too hard, though, are we? No. Oh, Champagne? So, are you from Norman? I'm from Mississippi. From Mississippi? Yeah. How'd you get stuck here? Uh, I went to OU, so. Oh. Yeah. So we should, so we should pull him out of OU before he gets stuck here? <laughs> no. <laughs> Here's a clam chowder. Well. Oh, thank you. That looks delicious. Salad. Clam chowder. I like when you're alone, dude. Calamari. Biscuits are mine. More salad. More salad. I'm recording again. So I'm eating this clam chowder and it's the bomb. It's really good. Are they supposed to be this chewy? How's your calamari? You good or chewy? Not just your meat. Let me see. Is it stringy? Let me see. Calamari. Like that's pure rubber. My one. I don't want that one is. Couldn't even bite through it. Look, no, take this. Ah. All right. Hot. 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 All right. So I got the. Uh... What's the name of that fish? Flounder. No, salmon. Oh. I mixed got grilled salmon. The mixed grilled salmon has salmon and jumbo shrimp. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. That tastes like a type of fish. And I got the mashed potatoes topped with lobster. You like them? We even have some of you like them. And then over there she got the Admiral's Feast. Because this is a lot. What comes with the Admiral's Feast? Scallops, shrimp, flounder, 
and I forgot what that was. Do you remember what that was? Uh, clam strips. Clam strips. Clam there you strips. go. And then Alex got the tilapia. What's the fried stuff? The flounder? And ligma. And then the mashed potatoes. Nobody wants to hear that. Vulgarness. All right, so we just finished eating here at the Red Lobster. How was the grub? How was your plate? Good? How was yours? Good. Yeah, mine was the bomb. We're full. We literally did not finish our food. We had to box it up and take a to-go plate. So now I don't feel bad about spending all that money because I had lunch and I'm also going to have dinner because I've got leftovers. So, you know, that's how you do it. Bargain shop, you know? So... Yeah, but my stomach is like so full right now, like it's about to explode. And I didn't even finish half of my plate either, so. Go to the hotel and take a power nap. They say we ain't got time, but I think I can fit my power nap in, so we'll see. Okay, so this is our hotel room here. King size bed. Comes equipped with a uh, nice handy little refrigerator here. Ooh, somebody forgot their food. Just kidding, we put ours in there. We got a microwave underneath, got some drawers, got a big old mirror right here, a desk, we got a uh, little lounge chair, got some cool artwork, I think it's uh, Van Gogh, it's, is it Picasso or Van Gogh, do you know, did they tell you? No? no? Alright, got the vanities, closet area, the turlet, aka my office. All right, and I just, you know, I got hooked up like big time. Like, I got so many gifts. Let me show you what I got, what I picked up. Like, y'all aren't gonna believe it. So I got hooked up with, here we go. I got hooked up with a lifetime supply of sunglasses. That's the great thing about the fairs that they have. Whenever you go to a fair of some sort, you get glasses more than you probably need. Unless you're like me and lose them all the time, then you probably need them. Yeah, so I just got four pairs of glasses. I was gonna go back around again and get some more, but they were already shutting down, so. All right, we're about to head out here to the uh, parents event that they're having. I think they're doing, what are they doing? Planko? Trivia? They're doing some trivia thing or something, so we're going to go check that out. Reception and then yeah, reception and then trivia. So, what do you think about our room, Alex? It smells like old lady. Your feet smell like old lady. They moved with their chairs. Hello. The kids. Where? Something like made my hands smell funny. What made your hands smell funny? It's probably whatever that garlic thing was. Oh yeah, probably. Oh yeah, the garlic bread. The bread, yeah. What does it smell like? I don't smell your fingers. I like I'm pretty sure it smells like that. Plant. I'm pretty sure it is. You got potting soil. It's weird looking. So what do you think about the reception? Boy. So they didn't give you a free shirt? They said you got a bomb or something for PCS. Not PTA. <laughs> so what were they raffling off anyway? They were saying it as they were doing it. Different stuff. Oh, yeah, win. So it's pretty lame. So where are we going after this? Trivia? So should we be on our way? That's what I said. Do y'all want to go ahead and go to trivia? Get there early. Did they stop at Walmart first? Okay. Why are you looking at me? I'm not the one. Well, we have time. Alright, let's go. All 
Alright, so I had to make a stop to Walmart real quick. Up here in Oklahoma, OU, visiting my son. Parents Day weekend and uh, I'm still sick. And walking around and driving around and all this stuff, I started feeling really bad again. So I need to get me something to tide me over because it's going to be a long night and then we got to go the whole thing again tomorrow. So looking at this day quill here. If they have Advil cold and flu, because that'll be better than that crap. Advil cold and flu is better than. Uh, oh, well, they have. That's just it right here. Never mind. The multi symptom Advil cold and flu is better than Dayquil? Yep. What's the difference? We can go to my Walmart tomorrow. Yeah, because that's probably what you have right there. Uh, body aches? Sinus pressure. Oh, yeah. And nasal congestion. Yeah, that's what I have right there. And I don't think that other crap does anything for your sinuses. Yeah. So you think that's better than the Dayquil? I think so. I mean, you can compare, but... Alright, so the body aches, sinus pressure, and this one says... Yeah, see? Aches, fever, cough. Nice one congestion, that's it. You need the sinus pressure. Okay, so that one's better? I think so. All right, so the verdict is in. I'm gonna go with the uh, Advil multi-symptom cold and flu. Just get rid of all this congestion that's going on up in here. And that's that's what it is. I feel it all up in here, a bunch of congestion and stuff. I mean, it might be just allergies and not like a cold, but like allergies. Because we had the worst pollen day the other day in Texas. So that's probably what it is with that in my allergy medicine and I brought some Benadryl with me too so that way I can take it at night. I don't take it in the day because it makes me sleepy so I can take it at night right before I go to sleep, knock me out and hopefully, hopefully with those three, I mean, that'll kick this out of my system pretty soon, I hope. Yeah, I think this cold and sinus would have been better but they don't have the cold and sinus. They don't have the cold and sinus? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go with which it's one? Cold and flu. Cold and flu? So that one has what? Nasal sinus congestion. So which one do you think is better, that one or the Sudafedrin? I would probably say the Sudafed, the other one. Yeah. Because you don't have chest congestion, right? Or cough? No. Cough, I have a cough, yeah. But that cough's always from that. I think that cough's from your blood pressure stuff. From my blood pressure? blood pressure medicine? The cough? Yes. You always have that cough. I don't always have that cough. Yeah. So you think it's from the blood pressure medication? So that makes me cough? Yes. Why? I told you that that's one of the side effects from your um, high blood pressure medicine. So I need to stop taking it? No, you probably need to switch it. So I need to switch, so y'all remind me to tell my doctor I need to switch my blood pressure medication. Right, Alex? Yeah. 